she wanna love us crazy She got her mind on babies Talking so much lately Wanna get married maybe Girl I love you They don't love you like I do She wanna love us crazy She got her mind on babies Talking so much lately Wanna get married maybe Girl I love you They don't love you like I do Guys, it's your boy Dev and Julia, and, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. As you guys can tell by the title today, we are going to be doing what girls do but won't admit to. I think it's a challenge. I'm going to be brutally, brutally, brutally honest, you guys. This you might be, be, yeah, this might be TMI. This might be I disgusting. Might not even want to know the answers to these. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we live together. You probably know the answers to yeah. all of these, but you guys don't. Pretty much, this is a video exposing me. If you really think about it. Sure. It really is. Well, do one to me if it makes you feel better. I do want to say a little disclaimer before I get started in this video. I'm not accusing every woman of doing this. I'm not saying, oh, every girl does this. I'm speaking on my behalf from my personal experience. But come on. Most of us do this, you guys. So don't come for me, you guys. I am going to be brutally, brutally honest. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into the video. So I'm going to be asking the questions that are written down on this phone, and you'll be answering them. So, are you ready? Um, no. Well, Do I have a choice? Too bad, so <laughs> let's get started. All right, question one. Do you go longer than a week without washing your bra? Um, yeah, what girl doesn't? I mean, do you know how expensive these things are? We don't have yeah, one like, for every day of the week. Like 60 bucks. I can't even remember the last time I washed this bra, to be honest. I mean, girls usually typically like keep like two, maybe three I have bras, three. and they rotate them. Um, I probably washed this about like two weeks ago. And whenever you're not wearing them and you're waiting to wash it, it's usually hanging on the bathroom door for like a week, so. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> so, yeah. <coughs> Question number two. Do you ever reuse your razors more than once? Reuse my razors? I don't really understand that question. Like, I mean, who doesn't? I mean, I reuse my razor a few, like a few times. Yeah, like unless it gets like gross and like rusty, rusty then you throw it out. Other rusty, than that, you can use it. I mean, rusty, I just crusty, busty. <laughs> he just got me rusty. a razor that is a reusable like razor, but it has oh, like the schlick. Those are good. But it has like disposable heads to them, so you like buy new heads for them. So the actual razor arm or whatever you call it itself, it I like reuse that. Yeah, but, but even the razors. The razor head, yeah, I, I reuse that. Days. I mean, who's got money to be throwing fucking razors out every time they use it? Not okay. I. Question number three. Do you make a wall mural with stray hairs in the shower? Guilty. Guilty. You hear that, people? Guilty. I do. And the drain, so. No. We wash our we I I'm like a bath freak like I love taking bubble baths so like oh, we clean you but yeah. you run my bubble baths yeah. for me I do everything for you so. <laughs> but no um no I don't purposely put them in the drain yeah they just fall off into the tree <laughs> <laughs> so right. question number four quattro have you ever peed in the shower I'm sure I've peed in the shower before. I mean, who really hasn't? Have you been in the shower before? Probably once when I was younger, but... Yeah, we know. <laughs> I mean, I've peed in pools, so... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> not all That's the time. That's worse than peeing in the fucking shower. Yeah, I, like, not when I'm an adult. Like, when I was younger, like, I, I didn't tell Have you mom. ever heard of that thing where, like, if I you pee in the pee. shower, it turns blue? Or if you no, pee in the, the pool, pool, it turns blue? Yeah, they put certain chemicals in the pool. I would always be afraid to pee in the, in the pool because of that. Yeah, that happened to my dad. At a resort, actually, in, like, Jamaica. Nah. Yeah, it was, like, sandals or something, and he peed in the pool, and then, like, he used these, like, chemicals, and it turned blue. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> How do I uh, expose you for a minute? Uh, but, no, I have, I'm sure, like, I've definitely peed in the shower before. I mean, I don't purposely, like, as not an adult now, like, pee in the shower. Uh, yeah, next question. Have you ever stretched uh, to smell your armpits to, to see if they uh, smell like B.O.? 
Of I mean, course. I have, yeah. Of course. I, I do that on a daily basis. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> We're Clean. good. Question number, I forget. Seven? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Have you ever picked your nose before? Yep. Yeah. I think everybody does. Even you got that, that, that. You can that. blow your nose, but there's always crusties that hang off. Yeah, you gotta get that you crust, gotta, you know what I'm saying? So. You gotta get that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, who, like, you're lying if you say you haven't. That I just, that's a fact, so. Yeah, once in your life. Number eight. Have you ever investigated your discharge? <laughs> of course. Every girl has. Comment down below if you're a girl and you investigate your discharge. You have to know whether you're ovulating, you gotta know if your period's coming, you gotta know if something's going on down there. Of course you, of course. Yes, 100%. I guess it's easy to be a guy, so. It, it very much is, <coughs> so you're lucky. Okay, that was interesting. So, Miss Inspector, hoo-ha. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you ever play with your own boobs? I would if I had boobs. If I mean, for what boobs I have, yeah. We always go like that, yeah. So. I, I definitely do that. Not like every day, but I definitely yeah. do that. You know, especially when I feel you like they're getting like... bigger. <laughs> I'm just like, Woo. Yeah, question number nine. Do you check yourself out in the mirror when you're naked? Oh, facts. Everybody yeah. does. Every single oh, person does. I mean, you're gonna dress you like yourself in the like in the mirror. Otherwise, how are you gonna know? Like when you gotta like take care of yourself. Or, yeah. Like, manscape or. Or you find new stretch marks, or you're bored and you start twerking in the the mirror. Sure. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, she does that occasionally. I just did that about two hours ago. I broke a drawer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we I put have a like song on. no, we have this dresser, right? And then right by the dresser, by the door, we have like a body mirror. So I was holding on to like I was in my underwear drawer because I was just got out the shower. I was getting dressed for the day, and I like put pressure on the drawer and like bent over and started twerking, and looking and in the, the body mirror, <laughs> and it snapped. And he watched it like, all happen. It was so funny. Like twenty minutes, but we fixed the drawer. So yeah, number. Question number 10. Have you ever ate crumbs out of your bra? Crumbs. What are crumbs? Crumbs of what? <laughs> like, um, I don't know, if you're like at the movie theater or something. I feel like I have like with popcorn at the movies or something, but I don't really know. I don't know. I don't so know. like once or twice? Yeah. I hope it was something good. It obviously was if I ate it out my yeah. bra. <laughs> Question number 11. Do you self tan only the parts that people can see? No, I self tan my entire body. If I'm gonna self tan, I self tan my entire body. Mm -hmm. I don't just do like the legs. That's stupid. Self tan your entire body. <laughs> self tan your entire body, ladies. <laughs> okay. Next question: Have you ever fell asleep with makeup on and then woke up and put more makeup on top of that makeup? No. And I'm being 100% honest here because. I'm being serious. When I, I have fallen asleep with makeup on, yes. But when I wake always up, makeup wipes. I always take my makeup wipes. I take that makeup off before applying new makeup. So no, I've never applied makeup on top of makeup. I know a couple of people out there that do that though. Next question. Have you ever smelled your own farts? Oh yeah. I heard it was good to smell your own farts. Yeah, I forget where you I forget that. where I heard that. I mean, <laughs> I, I think everybody has. I think people don't like to smell other people's farts. Cause I know, nice. like, that's this nasty. might sound really weird, but just be completely honest with me right now. We are definitely, definitely putting ourselves out there to be made fun of, but do you enjoy the smell of your fart? Yeah. Because yeah. I do. Sometimes. I feel like everybody, I mean, I, it's not it's like I enjoy bad. it. It's not like I enjoy it, but I don't mind it. You know what I mean? Like, if he would fart, I would be, like, flipping out because it stinks. Or when, like, somebody else would fart, I'd be like, oh, my God, that's so bad. But when I fart... I really don't mind it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> Do you avoid using public bathrooms? No. I think public bathrooms are very sanitary and clean, but... I If I gotta go, I'm gonna go. Some are. Try living in Boston and fucking going to the bathrooms there. Just fucking... Crap. If I have to go, I'm gonna go. I mean, I'll like pop a squat in the toilet or whatever. Like, I won't sit on their toilet. 
Um, unless I gotta go number two, if I'm going number two, I'm you always gonna. Nest. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna sanitize like sanitize it down myself, and yeah, no, I like I said, I know a couple people that do. When a girl's gotta go, a girl's gotta go. So no, I don't. Okay, sounds reasonable. And I know you don't because every time we stop somewhere, you're going, you're in that bathroom. So depends what we eat. And he drinks a lot of water and energy drinks, so I drink like six monsters a day. He's like a damn no water cap, No cap. Straight monster all day. I love it. I yeah. don't know. It's got a problem with it. He's a waterfall. Last but not least, last question. Do you ever try clothes on even though you know they're not going to fit? Oh, absolutely. For the longest time, you guys, I'm very open with my weight gain and my weight loss like journey. So, quick shout out. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it. It's in the car tour. But, um, yeah, so I definitely do what I... First started gaining weight, I always got stuck in like thinking I was a size small and extra small, even though I was a medium. So like when I would go shopping, I'd get stuff that are small and extra small and be like, oh damn, this shit don't fit me. And you never like to try shit on, which pisses me off. Yes. Because I say, make sure you try it on because so many times you've gotten home and you're like, babe, it doesn't fit. And then I'm like, I fucking told you to try it on. And you right now I'm on. a size large and extra large and I'm so like... What's that word? Like when you're feeling yourself, like, um, cocky. I'm so cocky because I've been losing weight that I think I'm like, I shrunk back to a size medium already when I know damn well I really didn't. So I'll like be buying stuff that like don't even fit me yet. He can tell you. And I'm like, oh, I'm saving this for right, when I lose right, weight. Yeah. Like I stay buying stuff that are too small. So yes, I do. Yeah. I do that. But was that um, the last question? I mean, I sometimes... You're well, the opposite. You'll buy stuff that is too big for you. Because it shrinks. Because it shrinks. I have a fear that of clothes shrinking in the dryer. Because, like, I like nice clothes. But, like, when I was younger, you can even ask my mother. Like, I would only wear shit once because whenever I wore it and then I, I washed it, it never fit the same again. So, I hated, like, going through clothes like that. So, now I just buy the size up and then it shrinks perfectly. And then it usually stays but uh yeah i mean i i buy i try and like try shit on that i hope that fits because like oh like it's wicked dope or i love it but and he's and weird like won't. yeah but you're weird like you'll buy stuff that are too big for you but then you also like fitted stuff so you'll buy a size down depends too. how it fits yeah, yeah it depends like he's all he just he don't have a size like you have to bring him to get him something or mm -hmm. whatever but um yeah that was yeah. last question yeah so that wraps up our questionnaire. Yeah, on, whatever we're gonna call this video. On what girls, girls do, do but won't admit to. If you guys want a part two to this of us doing it me. for him on what guys do but won't admit to, which Straight I think would no be cap, really disgusting be to be completely honest. Yeah, guys are more um, useless. But if you guys wanna see that, give this video a fat thumbs up and leave that down in the comment section down below and we will be sure to do yeah, that. Definitely comment, subscribe. Yeah. And like this video because. and turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out on mm -hmm. any lit videos so for those of you who don't know we just recently had 100 subscribers tonight, tonight we hit 100 subscribers 100 plus we yes. should say every five ten minutes it keeps going up so yeah we do want to give a huge thank you to everyone yeah. who has subscribed to our channel because it wouldn't be possible thank without you, you. For all the support and love and with that being know. said, we are doing the hundred dollar giveaway yep. in the next video, not this one. So, so the stay next one, tuned. the next one that we upload, we will announce the winner. For you guys to enter in that giveaway, you have to a subscribe to this channel, b turn your post notifications mm -hmm. on, c subscribe to subscribe. I always say subscribe. Follow us on all of our social media accounts, which are always in the description of every single video, and then. Once you're done with doing all of that, you comment a blue heart emoji under the, underneath these videos and um, every single video leading up to the announcement of the winner, which will be in the next video. So, anything else? No. We're also going to be doing notification shout outs as well. Yeah, every video we're going to be, we'll both be shouting out someone. Yeah, he's going to choose a male or female and I'm going to choose a male or female to shout out in every single video. Yeah. And all you have to do in order to be shouted out is you have to comment the emoji that you're going to see on the screen some and some point during this video I put a little emoji on the screen and that is to make sure that I we know that you guys are watching the entire video yeah. and all of the video 
So just to, in order to get a shout out, just comment that emoji down in the comment section below and we, you'll have a chance to get shouted out in one of our videos. All right guys, so every video we're gonna be doing, we're each gonna be doing a shout out to one of our subscribers and today's shout out goes to. So for today I picked Paige O'Shea or O'Shea. And I will show you guys, that is her account. Shout out to you girl, thank you so much for subscribing. My shout out is Christian Castelli, and this is his profile. So that is it, you guys. Make sure to go follow their Instagrams or add them Facebook. on Facebook and give them some support for giving us some support. Yeah. So okay, because it couldn't be possible without you guys. Absolutely Don't not. That. Thank you guys again, and without further ado, we'll see you guys in the next, next one. video. Peace. Peace.